Handmade by a small group of artisans and technical whizzes, these ultra expensive mechanical timepieces called Geochron grace boardrooms and fine homes the world over. But now there's a digital alternative. Still made by Geochron in Oregon, USA, the Atlas 4K hooks up to your 4K TV to give you the same Geochron experience, just for much less money. I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei, and this is the Geochron Atlas 4K. Onegaishimasu. The original Geochron was, and still is, a mechanical geographical chronometer. It represents the sunrise and sunset across the world on a moving map. Each one is hand-built to order and accordingly is very expensive. In 2018, Geochron introduced their first digital model, the Geochron Digital 4K Geospatial Computer. Now they've gone high resolution and released the Atlas 4K. So, Let's take it out of the box, hook it up to a 4K screen, and see what it does. When you first get the Geochron Atlas 4K, be sure to open the box upside down. The bottom of the box holds the quick start manual, which is the only documentation in the box, and the remote control, and they'll fall out of the package if you open it face up. Inside the box you'll find the batteries for the remote, an HDMI cable, the AC-DC adapter, and the Geochron Atlas 4K itself. The Atlas 4K is made from black plastic and the warning label on the back of the unit states that it may get warm to the touch, which indeed it does. The antenna is for the Wi-Fi connection to your router. Both 2.4 and 5.8 GHz are supported. There are two USB ports, the left one is for the remote controls dongle. There's also an Ethernet connection, an SD card slot, and a power button. Inside the remote controls battery compartment is the remote's dongle. As with all legacy USB devices, it takes at least two attempts to plug it in correctly. When first starting the Atlas 4K, it boots to this white screen before displaying its startup image. When fully booted, it displays the live map. Initial setup is straightforward and consists of setting up your Wi-Fi and setting the time zone. The general tab lets you choose the type of map to be displayed and whether it's displayed in color or grayscale. Let's take a look at some of the layers. Night capacity adjusts how dark the nighttime parts of the map are. It defaults to a fairly dark setting that I find is a bit too dark for my liking. About 40% seems about right. The Terminator line can be switched between hard and soft. The human light's opacity slider changes how bright city lights appear when in the nighttime areas of the map. I'm not giving a good example of this functionality, but I find 70 to 100% to be a good setting. You can change the opacity of the shipping lanes. I generally keep them off as the map starts looking way too busy with them on. Air traffic is more of an interest to me, so I raise that opacity just a little. Again, the map can start looking too busy if you overdo the layers, so about 20% works for me. Showing the air pollution is actually pretty depressing since it covers most of the map. I turn that off, if only the real thing were that simple. Population density shows areas of high population in purple. I keep that to about 40% opacity. The Live Layers tab displays data from sources on the internet that are updated frequently. COVID-19 data is taken from the John Hopkins University COVID-19 data. You can see the number of cases in major areas. Weather configuration consists of temperature, wind speed, precipitation, air pressure, and cloud cover opacity settings. If you've chosen to display several different types of satellites, the display gets extremely busy. This is a close-up, real-time display of ham satellites over North America. And now, a short time-lapse of about a two-minute span. 
I turned the satellites off, leaving just the Hubble Space Telescope and the International Space Station turned on. Displaying live commercial flights is another way to fill your map with interesting data. The Atlas 4K rotates between the various categories of airline data. As you can see, airplane data can obscure much of the map. As I said earlier, it's important to set the correct time zone. I'm in California, which is zone U on the map, and Los Angeles is the closest city listed, so that's the setting I used. The System tab is where you can force the Atlas 4K to download updates after you've set up your internet connection, reboot or reset the system, and change how the time is displayed. You can dim the Geochron logo, but you can't get rid of it entirely. Here's a quick display of the different maps available on the Atlas 4K. The human map. The topographical map. The oceanic map. The ham radio map, which is the one I use most. The mix map changes maps every 30 minutes. And this is the low resolution map for people using 1080p screens instead of a 4K screen. Geochrome provides a built-in time-lapse demonstration that spans several years, and this is a good way to show people what the Geochrome actually does. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Geochrome Atlas 4K. Geochron releases firmware updates to give the Atlas 4K even more capability and more live data sources to display. And you can of course buy your Atlas 4K at Ham Radio Outlet. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. For Ham Radio Outlet, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your Ham Radio Sensei. Arigato gozaimasu.